This video will cover the entire provisioning process for the Stream 1. Once installed, the content on your connected source device will be available for any Canvas display in your venue. The steps described here will be the same for both the 2K and 4K version. To begin, the Stream 1s should be installed in a rack secured with the included screws. The Stream 1's height is 1U and four of them fit side by side in a single Stream 1 chassis. For every 2U of Stream 1s you have installed, we recommend also using the Savvy Kona to increase airflow in the rack. Once installed, the Stream 1s will need power. This can be provided through the standard PoE or through the provided power adapter. You'll also want to connect each source to a Stream 1 with an HDMI cable inserted into the HDMI in slot on the back of the Stream 1. The HDMI out can typically be ignored unless you intend to split the signal between the Stream 1 and some other device, such as an HDMI matrix or video wall processor. Now we're ready to move to the software side. The first thing you'll want to do is set a static IP on each Stream 1. Please see our tutorial video for the most efficient way to do this. Once each Stream 1 has a static IP, you can add all of them to your creator project at once by using the Add Multiple feature. To start, we'll simply enter the IP for the first Stream 1. A key thing to note here is that each Stream 1 also needs a unique value in the broadcast channel setting to prevent conflicts. This number determines the last octet of the multicast address for each streaming source. With the IP and broadcast channel set for the first Stream 1, I can now click Add Multiple, check both the increment IP address and broadcast channel number options, then click OK. As you can see, the Stream 1s have all been added to the Creator Project, each with their respective IP address. If I navigate to the web UI for this Stream 1 in a new tab, you can see the broadcast channel has been applied to the multicast address and no conflict has been detected. In order to have the connected source available as an option in Facility View, the last thing we'll need to do is make a connection between the source device and the Stream 1 in the Connections tab. Assuming you've added source devices to your project already, simply locate the Stream 1, then under the Input tab, select whichever source you have plugged into the HDMI in for that Stream 1, and hit Save. Don't forget that if you're connecting a source that only needs to be played but not controlled, such as an HDMI wall plate, you can use the generic source driver and select it. Remember, the HDMI out here can usually be ignored and should never be connected to a canvas display unless you do have an HDMI physically connected to the display or other device. Now, in Facility View, the streaming source connected to the Stream 1 is available on any display in the facility. Thanks for watching our training video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos in the future.